Imagine this scenario. You're an operations manager for a retail chain and you have several stores equipped with the happy or not feedback kiosks at different touch points. These can be checkouts, departments, exits. You want to see how your stores compare and identify any that might be underperforming. And if one is, you'll want to dig deeper into the reasons why. So how do you do that with Happy or Not Analytics? Let's have a look. When you first open Analytics, you land on the Quick View page. This gives you a quick snapshot of what's happening in your stores right now, or you can view data for this week, this month, or even the previous month. Next, head over to the details view for more in-depth performance insights and the ability to set custom date ranges. For example, let's say you want to check how your stores have been doing since January 1st. We go to the comparison widget and can immediately see that store B is underperforming compared to store A. But why? So let's click on store B to investigate further. First, we look at the monthly performance trends. Overall, things were going well with strong performance in June and July. But then in August, the happy index dropped and stayed low through September. So what happened in August that could have caused this? Now let's examine the comparison widget to pinpoint which experience points are struggling the most. We'll drill down into department B2. From here, we identify the main pain points. Customer service and product selection are the biggest contributors to the low scores. Great, we're getting somewhere. Let's take it even further. So where exactly did these issues occur? It turns out it's primarily in the books and media and sports sections. Finally, let's check some verbatim feedback. There are frequent complaints about unfriendly staff and poor product selection. Also, a lot of the negative feedback seems to come in on Mondays. Now that we've narrowed it down, it's time to reach out to the store manager to discuss what's going on on Mondays. Are there not enough staff on the floor? Does the Monday shift need extra customer service training? Are shelves left empty after the weekends? Or is there something else going on?